Hey guys, Landon is back with another video. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. There's not going to be uh, unicycle videos today. I mean, he's still here, but today we're going to make electric unicycle stand. Why? Because uh, it's marking up my walls pretty bad with this handle. So I need to make a stand. I thought about getting on 3D printed, but I saw on some forums that people are making stands out of these. And I think it looks pretty cool and it's like super cheap. It was like uh, $15 Canadian worth of parts. So yeah, you're just using standard uh, inch and a half plumbing. Should be pretty straightforward. Tools you're gonna need is a saw to cut the PVC. Obviously a measuring tape. We're gonna be doing this one in inches. Even though we're a metric country, I know it's weird. Tape if you wanna make clean cuts and hopefully something to mark your measurements with. And then for the actual PVC stuff itself, uh, you need these little T ends, I guess they are. I'm not a plumber. They have a flange on each side. These are like, yeah, two bucks each or something. And then you wanna get a 90 degree bend, four of them, with uh, only the flange on one side. And the reason being is they're gonna fit into it like this. And that's gonna be our base. Three feet of PVC. I think that should be enough. So yeah, that's the gist of it. Get started. I want this piece right here to be uh, a foot. Because I don't want this pipe to be, to be too big. Because otherwise it's probably gonna bow. So I'm trying to make it as short as possible. So for me, my cuts have to be one foot for the V10F. So I'm gonna cut uh, two pieces right now, one for the left side, one for the right side. And we'll see what happens. Guess I'm out of tape. All right, it looks like I don't have any tape, so we're just gonna freestyle it. All right, here we go. One foot, one foot. All right guys, so these are my two foot pieces. Probably not the best cuts in the world, but they should be okay. And then so these are gonna fit on to the tops of these T's like so. And I think it'll start to take shape here. And then this guy, like so, right? And do that again. Just like that. So now um, I measured the width of my V10F and these should be uh, eight inches outside to outside. So that's, um, that's about four and a half inches, two cuts of four and a half inches on the PVC. So yeah, we're gonna do that next. All right guys, so I have a pile of parts in front of me now. We got our two lengthwise cuts that are 12 inches. We've got our two uh, four inch cuts for the width, actually four and a half inch, sorry. Two four and a half inch cuts for the width. So now I'm gonna test fit everything, make sure it all works, make sure it's the right width. There's that. So this has been like four cuts and about 15 minutes worth of work. So if this works, that's pretty sweet. Okay, time for the moment of truth, I guess. It looks solid. Yeah, okay. All right, so here we are guys. So nice, right? It's just high enough that the wheel's off the ground. But I mean, how cool is that, right? Super, super easy. It's pretty strong. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think you'd probably want a Sherman on it, but for like a mid-weight wheel, totally fine. And super cheap, so you can keep building them. So yeah, that's how you make a electric unicycle PVC stand. Pretty easy, four cuts, 15 bucks for the parts. Let me know in the comments how you guys build them. Uh, Maybe there's improvements that could be made. Yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Catch you on the next one.